All right, everybody. Hey, how's it going? I'm Nick Baldwin. We are here for Smart Plans, how to make smart plans work for you. And today we're going to go over a few things. We're going to go over how to create a 22 touch with four smart plans without really having to do much of anything work for your sphere of influence, obviously. We're going to go over how to create a sphere of influence six to 12 touch holiday text. I'm going to show you how to build a smart plan uh, from scratch, just like whatever you want to say, really. And then we're going to talk a little bit about uh, some Facebook follow-up smart plans that um, that I've created that I can show you how to implement. Let me just fix my microphone here. It keeps moving around all the all over the place. Here we go. All right, perfect. All right, so hope that you guys are excited and ready to go like I am. I'm excited and ready to go. So let's jump on in to the command dashboard. Here we go. I am sharing my screen with you guys and. First things first, you got to know where your smart plan library is. So I'm going to go over to smart plans on the left-hand side of the screen where all the applets are. And this is where all your smart plans live when you add them to your library. And I'm going to show you where the library is so you can find smart plans to download and implement. All right, so right here is the library up at the top. And Anthony says, I'm going to need a bigger shirt. Buy dirt, baby. All right. So I'm in Smart Plan Library. What I'm going to show you now is how to create a 22 touch without, with only having to make four phone calls. Would you like to know how to do a 22 touch? and to your sphere of influence, and all you have to do is make four phone calls, wouldn't that be like the easiest thing to implement? Like you basically just sit back and let the smart plans do what they do, and then you have to just make a couple phone calls a year? Like really, it's pretty awesome. So type yes in the chat or type yes in the comments on Facebook if you're watching, if that's something that you're interested in, because I'm going to show you anyway, even if you're not. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to go down here to the Keller Williams Smart Plans. I'm going to click See All. And here are the four smart plans that you can add to your sphere of influence right now for 22 touches a year, okay? The first one is going to be the quarterly call plan, all right? That is four calls a year to your sphere. And that rhymes, so it's hard to forget. Four calls a year to your sphere. It rhymes. I just made that up. So that is going to be added to your contacts, okay? Uh, so you're going to want to add that smart plan by clicking add smart plan, and then you download it to your library, okay? Then you're going to want to do the neighborhood nurture, okay? That's going to be a dozen touches. So now we're at 16, okay? So we've got the quarterly call plan with four calls. We've got the monthly neighborhood nurture, which, by the way, you need to have their physical address in order to send them the monthly neighborhood nurture. So make sure that you have everybody's physical address before you do that. OK, so that's 16 touches. Then if you closed on if you closed on these people, you know, within the last 11 months. Home anniversary, I mean, it could be. I mean, you could do it obviously year after year, but I think the first year is the most special. So anyone that you've closed on within the last 11 months, put them on a home anniversary. And in contacts, you have to indicate when their home anniversary is. It's under add additional information. So go into contacts and you'll see that um, you'll see that criteria that you need to fill in. So if they closed on a house today, you're just going to indicate 9-9-2022. And when you add that in a year from now, you're going to get a reminder to send a card and then you're going to get a reminder to make a call. So that's two more touches, 18. And then happy birthday over here. Happy birthday 
Again, you put their birthday in their contact profile, so you indicate it there. You have to know when their birthday is. And happy birthdays for touches. I actually feel like it's a bit much with the four touches. If it were me, I would dial it down a little bit to two touches, and I'll show you why. So this is what the happy birthday smart plan looks like. So the interaction task with a contact, that is basically like send a card, right? This will remind you uh, six days before their birthday to put a card in the mail. And then there's a four-day delay, and then there's a phone call, then there's a one-day delay, and then there's an interact interaction task. And that interaction task is to post on social media. And then there's a text message. I'm like, whoa, that's a lot of happy birthdays. What I would do is I would dial back on the social post. And if you do two of them out of this smart plan, we're at 20. All right, so let's go over these one more time. Quarterly call plan, that is four touches. Monthly neighborhood nurture, that's a dozen touches. Home anniversary is two touches. Happy birthday, two to four touches. So you're at 20 to 22. Do is make four phone calls a year to, to your sphere of influence, to each person. It's more than four phone calls, but you know what I mean. Four phone calls each. All right. Does anybody have any questions about that? Dr drop in the chat if you're on Zoom. Let me know if you have questions. Happy to answer them for you while we move while we start to move on. Um, awesome. Cool, cool, cool. Let's see. Um, there are a couple questions. So Jenny's asking, new to command, will smart plans automatically pull their noted home anniversary? If a past client, i.e. if I if I add a past client to a home anniversary who closed on 10, on 810, and I add them today on 99, will it indicate 810 as home anniversary? No, you have to add. So like let's say they closed a month ago, right? Like on on 8 9 2022. Today, if you went in there, you'd have to put 8 9 2022 in order to indicate their home anniversary. So you have to back it up. Hope that makes sense. Um, is there any smart plans under the team commands feature? Uh, yeah, so the same smart plans. You just have to go into your team account and add them to the team library. Good question. Anthony, how do you fill out? How do you fill it out to make it a 36 touch? Anthony, slow down, buddy. I'm going to show you. Slow down, pal. Getting ahead of me, Anthony Rollins. I'm going to show you. We're going to do that next. <laughs> All right. Now I'm going to show you how to add extra touches. Like if you want to add, you know, some extra uh, text messages to the touches for your sphere of influence. Here's what we're going to do. All right. So let's go into my smart plans. And this is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do. I am going to, let's see what, oh, Halloween's Halloween is coming up. Perfect. So I'm going to create um, a text and I'm going to call it, Halloween 2022, then I'm going to apply. And here we are in our blank, our blank canvas. I'm going to click this text message, send SMS. This is, I'm going to send a text. And what I'm going to do here is, I'm just trying to situate my microphone. I'm going to say, hey there. And then because I'm going to send this to like a couple hundred people in my database, I'm going to use a merge field. Okay. That's right here. Merge field. Merge field merges information. 
that you have on the person. So we're going to use contact first name. All right. And I'm going to say happy Halloween. And then I'm going to do a little emoji. And let's see if they have like a ghost. Come on, emojis. Oh, there we go. They, they do have a ghost. There's a little ghost. Happy Halloween. Say, do you think we are too old to dress up this year? All right. Let's say that's the text. I'm just making up something funny. What are you going as this year? What kind of candy are you giving away? You know, that type of thing. Okay. So I'm going to save this. And then save again. Okay. Then I'm going to go back to Smart Plans. And I'm going to create another text. Let's do Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving 2022, apply. And then we get we go back in here. And I'm going to send a text. Happy Turkey Day. Let's do a little emoji. Turkey! Comma. And then merge field. I always forget, is dessert, which is dessert and which is desert? That's dessert, right? Two S's? I should know this. I'm a horrible speller. Somebody let me know. Yes, I was right. Sweet. I love, you guys are smart. Happy Turkey Day. What's for dessert? Save it. And then I'm going to do one more so I can show you how this works. And then let's do create and let's do, uh, let's do a happy new year. 2023. All right. Can you believe it's almost Christmas and New Year's? I can't even believe it. Nuts. All right. Uh, okay, so now I'm going to do Happy New Year. And then I'm going to do a little, let's see, party. Party, little party emoji. Happy New Year. And then we're going to do an emoji, uh, a, a merge field. Think you'll be able to stick to those resolutions this time. All right. Save. Save. Now. I've got three text messages. Now you can go on for an entire year. You do 12, do six, nine. There's a holiday every month. So that's what makes this so cool. Okay, so each one of these is gonna be a, a smart plan, okay? Each text is a smart plan. So now I'm gonna go to contacts. And let's say, I'm going to choose from my smart views. Let's just use this. Um, let's just use this, okay? Let's say there's 26 people here that I want to add to this smart plan. I'm going to click them all. I'm going to select bulk action. I'm going to add to smart plan. And Halloween is the first one I did. So I'm going to do that first. Select. And then what I want to do is I don't want to start 
the plans right now. I don't want to start the text right now because it's not Halloween. I want to start on a following date. So I click the little calendar and I go to October 31st. And then I click confirm. When I click confirm, that text is scheduled to go out to the people I select on October 31st, okay? Then I go to Thanksgiving and I get, again, start on a following date, go to September, October, November 24th, confirm. Now that Thanksgiving text is set to go out on November 24th, or I would maybe yeah, do it like on the, yeah, the 24th is fine. Do it on Thanksgiving. And then Happy New Year, do the same thing. Start on the following date, and I would send it out on January 1st or 2nd, either one. And then confirm. And when you confirm, that text is now scheduled to go out on January 1st, 2023. So if you do this 6, 9, 12 times on top of the 20-ish touches, with the neighborhood nurture and the happy birthday and the home anniversary and the quarterly calls, you got yourself a really good 30 something touch. And all of this is scheduled. So you could sit down, type out six, nine or 12 different text messages, schedule them to go out to the people that you want to, to receive them in one fell swoop. And your automation is done in like however long it takes you to do that. Drop in the chat um, or on Facebook in the comments if you like this idea. Let me uh, know. Let me know, let me know, let me know. Sweet. Somebody's asking, can you add links to a text? Yeah, you can add a link. Sure, just add the link and they can click it. I'm all about automation, man. You know, I'm all about automation and making my life easier. All right, sweet. Let's move on, guys. I want to check the Facebooks and see if there's any um, any questions over there. The answer them for you. No, no questions over there. That's fine. All right. Now, what we're gonna do next? Let me check my schedule. That's right. I, I have a schedule. I actually wrote a schedule. Okay. Oh, we're gonna build a smart plan. Okay, sweet. We're gonna build a smart plan. So I'm going to show you basically like how you can build a smart plan out, okay? Let's say you're going to build a smart plan for like, um, you know, Facebook leads. All right, so here we go. Um, let's say we're going to send a text message first. And I'm going to put the steps in first. Then there's going to be uh, a delay. Okay. And then maybe we'll create a task. Actually, let me remove that. Make a call. And let's say we set a delay and then send an email, set a delay and create a task. Okay, let's just say we're doing this, okay? Let's say the first tech, we want, the we want a message to go out, right? So we're gonna say, this is for Facebook leads. Hey there, again, you're gonna do the merge field, contact first name. Because when you're generating leads through Facebook and you use a Facebook lead form, it captures their name for you. All right, let's just say you're going to say this. Do you have any questions about what you saw? This is Nick with Keller Williams. 
All right, so then we're gonna gotta save it. Where is where complete all required fields? I did. Okay, let's go to oh oh okay okay gotcha. All right, I didn't do this down here yet. All right, now we're gonna let it delay a day, and we are going to make a call and say call and then let's do a merge field contact first name contact last name and we're just going to say follow up on them looking at homes on facebook okay and then we're going to delay let's say we want to delay like two days the email we're going to write an email and let's say we say hi and then we do a merge field Okay, and then we wanna do an email signature. So you're gonna do this. You're gonna do agent first name, space, agent last name, and then you're gonna put your phone number and then email. Okay, and then maybe we're gonna delay, let's say we delay three days, and then the task could be create saved search for, and that'll be contact first name, contact last name. Okay, so we've created a smart plan and we have lots of different steps in here, okay? We have a first text message that goes out, hey there, Let's just say, Anthony, thanks for looking at homes for sale on Facebook. Did you have any questions about what you saw? This is Nick with Keller Williams. Then it's going to delay a day. And then on day two, it's going to remind you to make a phone call. You're going to call that person. And if you don't reach them, there's going to be a two-day delay and an email is going to go out. And it says, hi, contact first name. Hi, Anthony. I'm going to use Anthony's name. I tried texting you the other day about homes you saw online. Hope I'm, not, hope I'm not bugging you. I want to make sure you're being taken care of. What do you think of the homes you saw? Then there's going to be a delay of three days. Now, you don't have to have three-day delay. I'm just showing you that you can delay certain times, a certain amount of time. And then let's say on day seven, you're going to set up a saved search for them um, based on what they looked at or if you spoke to them and you got a sense of what they're looking for. So anyway, that's that's kind of how you create a smart plan. Just put the different touches, text, delay, make a call, delay, send an email, delay, set up a safe search, delay, send a text, delay, until you actually get that person to respond to you. When you do, then you got to remove them from the smart plan, okay? So that's how you create a um that's how you create a smart plan from scratch um anthony is saying the ahas for me is creating different text plans and scheduling each one to start on that day love that angela how do you pe how do people respond to the text since it's not from your personal number uh i just you could say you could even put in there hey anthony this is nick I'm texting you from another, texting you from my work phone, you know, how's it going or whatever you could, you know, I, they don't really think about it. As long as you put your name down, they don't really think about it. So somebody's asking when you're doing a paid ad, do you recommend the Facebook lead form over the site link? hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred percent. 
always use a lead form if you want to capture leads. Um, so anyway, if they text back, it goes back to the command. So make sure you have the command app on your phone, downloaded notifications on. So you see the pop-up. It's just like a regular text message, except it goes to the command app and you can text them right back through the command app through Twilio. All right. Um, let's see, Sh Sean, big question, Sean. I found that some of the Facebook leads I get through command have out of date emails. Uh, does lead form uh, populate the email they signed up for? Yeah, so the, the, the email is the email they used to register for Facebook back in the day. So it may not be accurate. The information, that's why you want to text, email, text. That's why you want to hit them from different channels. You want to make sure you got the right contact info. You know, that's why you want to make sure that you hit them from different channels. All right. Make sure you do that. Um, okay, awesome. So I'm going to show you guys one last thing. We're going to go into the library. And if you want to download a couple smart plans from me, um, I'll show you. I just type in my name. Now there's two smart plans I think you can download if you're generating leads on Facebook. One is this one, the revise the town property specific Facebook follow-up revised um, towards the bottom of the list. And it's 21 steps, 28 days, 11 touches. And then there's another one that is, where is it? Six to uh, missing it somewhere. Let me see. Where is it? Hold on a second. Oh, oh, buy. It's right at the top. Buyer six to month, nine months out from buying. So go in there and download revised town property specific Facebook follow up. And you can use that to, um, to, to respond to Facebook leads. The buyer six to nine months out. This one's pretty cool. Um, it's it's like a it's a three month smart plan. Like if somebody tells you they're you know six to nine months out from buying, you can use this and it helps you follow up. Um, and it's a it's a ninety day smart plan, eighty four days to be exact. All right. So when you put it in place, there's a lot of tasks that remind you to make a call, to check in, set them up, set them up on a safe search, send them listings um, that you handpicked for them, check in with them. You know, it's it's like it's a great one to stay top of mind when somebody says they are ready to buy like sometime in the future. Because what happens is we get overwhelmed like, oh my goodness, what am I going to do? This person doesn't want to buy a house for a year. How am I going to possibly keep in touch? The six to nine months smart plan, 84 days, 11 steps, six touches. Now, it's not only six touches because when you're, you set them up on a saved search, that's more touches. But there's six touches in the plan. But one of the touches is a task to set them up on a saved search. And then they're going to get those in between each touch. So you can see delay 14 days, delay 30 days, delay five days, delay 14 days, delay 20 days, okay? So that's a good one to use. The revised town property specific is texting and emails and phone calls to get them to reply to you. So go in there and take a look at that. There was one thing I wanted to show you guys in the happy birthday. In the happy birthday smart plan that you download from Keller Williams from the library, what you're going to see is the text message that goes out is just going to say happy birthday. That's all it's going to say. Okay. So you have to, I want, I, you need to edit that because that's so generic. So when you go in, you download that, edit it, happy birthday, put their name in. Let 
make it a great one or whatever you want to say, and let's just put a little cake. All right. Happy birthday, Anthony. Make it a great one. All right. And then you could put like, it's Nick. All right. So if you have a team, you would do this. If you have a team, you would do its agent agent first name because you're adding it to the team smart plan library so they all can use it. Uh, if you're a solo agent, you don't need to do that. Um, so anyway, yeah, just wanted to remind you guys to edit the happy birthday text. Uh, Mandy's asking, if I don't have Twilio, it'll remind me to send the text, right? And then it'll s still send the email. So it still sends the email if you don't have Twilio, uh, I think I can't remember if it if it turns it into a task. I can't remember. It might turn it into a task, um, but it just won't send anything. Cindy is asking, is the command app the Keller app? Yeah, so type in KW command in your app store or Google Play and download that. Let me see if there's any questions on the Facebooks. I don't know if there is. Uh, just want to make sure. No, no questions on the Facebook. You guys have any any final thoughts before I jump off? Just wanted to give you guys some ideas today on you know what to do with sphere of influence, with Facebook, keeping in touch. What do you do if you capture a low-quality Facebook lead? I mean, what's low-quality? Is that someone who, like, isn't ready to buy or can't buy or doesn't have enough money? Just, I don't know, low-quality typically, you know, just depends on what that means. Um, I mean, if they if they can't, if their credit is bad, you know, set them up on saved searches for listings that they might like. Put them on a neighborhood nurture. Um, follow up with them once a month. Anthony, with the drop in the bomb in the chat, your follow up is low quality, not the lead. <laughs> I love it. I love it. That's what I would do. But um, thanks, guys. Appreciate you for jumping on. I will send out the recording. Just, just give me like a, a day or two to do that and I will send it out to you guys. I'm glad I made it much easier for you. That's what I'm seeing in the chat. Smart plans can be very intimidating. Automation can be very intimidating, but I hope I made it easy for you and, a lot, and gave you some ideas to keep in touch with people on a much easier in a much easier way. Have a great weekend, guys. We'll see you on the next one.